What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and welcome back to our SEC channel. We're going to give you our top 10 players for the Vanderbilt Commodores, the final team. We've done this for every single SEC team, so if you missed those videos, go ahead and check them out and you'll see our top players from each and every SEC team. This Vanderbilt team has a lot of a lot of weapons on offense and if they can get the quarterback position figured out and get some production from that position, this Vanderbilt team has a chance to have a really good offense. I think there's going to be a bigger question really on the defense, and uh, that's where they're going to need to step up. And we're going to start with a defensive player at number 10. How about Drew Birchmeyer, defensive lineman for Vanderbilt? Last season had 31 tackles, three and three tackles for loss, also two forced fumbles. So he's able to get in there and knock a couple of balls loose. A guy that can you know eat up blocks. You're not necessarily looking at the tackles. Uh, at this position, uh, but still 31 tackles is, is not bad. And the, the fact that he was able to get in the backfield and make three tackles for loss is pretty solid. And again, we are projecting ahead to 2019 when we do this top 10 list. We're going to stay on the defensive line for number nine, and that is Deo Odangbo. Hopefully I pronounced that right. If I did not, you guys can let me know. Uh, but yeah, we're switching over now to the defensive end position. I think he's going to be a breakout star for this team in 2019. Last year, just 28 tackles, but he did have four and a half tackles for loss. Had a forced fumble, two fumble recoveries, so he was around the football. And I expect him to do more of that. And I think the tackle numbers need to go up. And I think you'll see his tackle for loss numbers go up as well. Uh, see if maybe he can get a few sacks in 2019. But I think these will be the two key guys on the defensive line. At number eight, we go to the offensive side of the ball. At wide receiver, it's C.J. Bowler last season. 34 catches, 440 yards, two touchdowns, and he is the number three pass catcher on this list. We have two others, uh, not necessarily wide receivers, uh, but I'm telling you, this team has a lot of weapons, a lot of guys that can catch the football. They're pretty deep at running back as well and have one of the better running backs, I think, in the country, and we'll get to him in just a few minutes, uh, but C.J. Bowler, I think is going to be a good compliment there at the wide receiver position. At number seven, we go to Tay Daly. Last season, 45 tackles, five and a half tackles for loss, one and a half sacks. Daly played in all 13 games last season, only started eight games. So you see those numbers pretty good from the safety position. Maybe he needs to do a little bit more in the in the pass game, but did a good job uh, in run support with tackles for loss. Uh, and those are very solid numbers, again, from a guy who only started eight games. I think his his role will be expanded. They lost a lot on defense from last year, so they're going to have some guys that maybe didn't start all year last year step up. Uh, and I think we're going to have one more of those for you as well in this video. But at number six, we're going to go with Riley Neal. I do think he'll wind up being the starter at the quarterback position. Threw for almost 2,000 yards last year, 357 yards rushing, 16 total touchdowns. But you go back and look at his numbers, even as a freshman, they were even better. He started as a true freshman at Ball State. So this is a guy with a lot of experience. I know he hasn't played in the Power Five, but still that much experience uh, I think is going to be big. And he's going to have more talent around him here at Vanderbilt. I think he's going to be a very good quarterback, and I think he'll be the starter. We've got him at number six. We go to number five. That is Frank Coppett. Last season, 30 tackles, three interceptions, one forced fumble. This is another guy that did not start all year. He did start the final six games of the regular season, so he did establish that role at safety as a starter and uh, did not play in the bowl game. I think he was injured. So this is another guy that I think will have a much bigger role and with you know, not a, a ton of playing time last year, still was able to come up with three interceptions. That is really good, and I think he's going to be maybe a leader for them in the secondary. We go to the offensive side now, and how about tight end Jared Pinckney? 50 catches last year, 774 yards, seven touchdowns, one of the better tight ends really in the country. Might be the best tight end in the SEC as we head into 2019. He's a guy that could maybe go over a thousand yards. I don't know if they're going to throw it a ton, so that might be kind of tough, but uh, still from the tight end position, he was their number two receiver last year. I expect him to have a, a, another big year in 2019 as we have him at number four. We go back to defense now for number three. That is Dimitri Moore. I think he will be the best defensive player, really the leader for this defense. Last season had 84 tackles, Three and a half tackles for loss, an interception, three pass breakups, 
It's the tackles, though. You see him flying all around the field at that linebacker position. That's exactly what you want. Uh, maybe he can get a little bit more disruptive this season, making some plays in the backfield. But, uh, again, I think he will be the leader for this defense. And uh, I think it's going to really – a lot of it's going to depend on him on that side of the ball. So I like him at number three. At number two, we go to the wide receiver position. It's Kalijah Lipscomb. Last season, 87 catches, 916 yards, nine touchdowns. Uh, again, this is a guy that is one of the – he's – Probably in the top five when you talk about receivers coming back in the SEC, uh, he could have another really big year in 2019. We'll see if he can get over a thousand yards. A very, very talented wide receiver, uh, very quick, very shifty, and uh, I think he's going to again be a big part of this offense. But when you talk about the offense, you have to go to Keyshawn Vaughn. He is the best player on this team, hands down. Last year, over 1,200 yards rushing. 7.9 yards per carry, just an unbelievably high number playing in the SEC. He had 14 total touchdowns. Uh, just, again, one of the top running backs in the SEC, really one of the top running backs in the country. And, again, I think he will be the leader of this Vanderbilt team. I think he will be the go-to guy on offense, and I think he is the best player for the Commodores in 2019. I'd love to get your thoughts. If you're a Vanderbilt fan, you obviously know this team better than I do. Uh, so what did I get wrong? Who would you add to this list that I left off? Would you change any of the order? Anything you want to add to this video, please feel free to let me know. Again, go check out the other videos for all the other teams if you missed them. But thanks for watching, and for more on the SEC, keep it right here.